Hello, it's your girl Jay. I'm gonna take you guys through a walkthrough of my art journey. I started drawing more seriously in 2014. Now, I know everybody says they've been drawing their whole life, and it's true, but I started drawing consistently, if you will, in 2014. So when I started out, I only had graphite. So all my drawings were black and white, and that's how I learned to draw. I just started drawing people. I didn't plan on starting art, which is strange because it's such a big part of my life now. I didn't make up in my mind to start drawing. Like I didn't say, today is the day I start my art journey and I will be the greatest artist on earth. That was not me. I just decided to draw Tupac one day and I just kept drawing people <laughs> like every day since then. It's kind of strange. 2014 was all me learning to draw with graphite. I think through to all of 2015 too, I was just drawing with graphite because I didn't have any money to buy the fancy art supplies that a girl has today. Yeah, that was when I was in high school. I started in between my sophomore and junior year, one of those years. Yeah, 2014 and 2015. <laughs> you see all my little photos. 2016 is the first time I picked up a colored pencil. A professional, like actual good gray color pencil. I had an art class for once. Oh, I didn't take any art classes. I was just drawing, practicing <laughs> on my own. Back then I didn't watch any YouTube videos about art, so that, that didn't help. So 2016, I had an art class for once. It was one of those basic, it was art one. And this is my senior year of high school, it was art one. Um, all they teach you in there is the basics, like foundational stuff like perspective, which I already knew, blah, 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 blah. That was the first time I ever used Prismacolors. I was still using graphite outside of school because that's all I had. Later that year, I started going to school, college. I had a little money. I bought Faber-Castell, the whole, the whole set. And I started drawing with color pencil. In 2016, I did dabble a little bit in digital art. I didn't have any money to have, I didn't have a computer or anything like that. I just had the app on my phone, which is like really sketchy. So all my digital stuff doesn't look good. It's, it's dabbling. It wasn't actually digital arting. 2017, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2017, 2018 and on, I, I do photography on the side, just so you can see real quick and we can move on. When I started buying colored pencils, I bought a skin tone pack of Copics. I use Copics sometimes for skin and then I would use colored pencil on top to fill in the blanks that I didn't have in Copic colors. You gotta see how blotchy and ugly that is. Yeah, that's a marker. That's how this one started out. And I'm still not done yet. All of 2017 really consisted of me using colored pencil only. I believe I stopped using graphite for, like, I haven't drawn on graphite probably since, since then. Not seriously anyway. At the end of 2017, I got my laptop and I got Photoshop. Well, I got the whole Creative Cloud suite. I'm still with Adobe today, if that means anything to you. I love Adobe, just besides the point. 2017, I did my first digital painting. It's a self-portrait, even though it doesn't really look like me. So that's my first real digital art. That's when I started digital arting for real. I believe I started this one color pencil drawing I have to mention. November of 2017. I didn't finish it until like six months later because when I was in college, I had this painting class that you know when you're in school doing art. When you're doing art for school, you don't feel like doing art for yourself. So I, I was taking a break from everything else. When I started it, I wanted to take my time. I wanted to see how realistic I can get it to be because I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a lazy artist. I will not spend 30 hours on a painting. I'm more of a simple but cute type of artist. Like, I want it to look detailed enough, but I'm not gonna spend my lifetime on one work, if you know what I mean. So this one, I wanted to spend my lifetime on this one. <laughs> I don't even know how many hours this one took me. Like, usually a drawing would take me like around 10 hours. I don't know how, if this one took way more than that, but I just wanted to get it as realistic as possible. And if you didn't know, that's rust. At the beginning of 2018, yes. That spring semester in college, I had a painting class. This is my intro to painting. Now, by this time, I already knew how to draw well. Crunch. I've tried a lot of mediums in my day. It's like, as soon as you know how to draw in one medium, it's easy, or it was, it was easy for me. It was easy for me to do any medium. I knew how to draw. I knew 
color theory. I knew all that from colored pencils and all that. So when I started painting, it was no problem. The only thing I had to learn was how to use paint, but it wasn't that hard is what I'm trying to say. I mostly used acrylics in that class. I do have oils. I use oils for one painting I've done. Which one do I prefer is a side note. Um, I like them both for different reasons, obviously, but that's besides the point. We're going to get back to the point. I had that painting class. It was fun. I learned a lot about composition. I didn't know anything about composition. I have to say that I didn't know anything about composition before I took that class because all of my drawings did not have backgrounds in them. All I would do is draw people. That's how I learned how to draw though, so I'm not I'm not complaining, but I learned about composition in the class, all of the painterly like stuff in that class. It didn't take me long to learn all that. It was it was pretty snappy because I already knew. I already had all my little technical skills. So 2018, I was balancing my mediums pretty well. I did painting, I did colored pencils, and I did digital art. In August of 2018, I transferred schools to go get my BFA new media, which is like graphic design, web design, video, all that conglomerated. I have portfolio tour, and I have my rejected portfolio on my other channel, if you guys want to see that. When I first got there, all we did was foundational art stuff so this is when I really had my first few art classes besides that painting class that was my first like true art class but now all I was taking was art classes I was back to charcoal drawings which is so sad that class was so sad because I wanted to do more and she was just teaching us the foundations but it's fine like it's fine I promise so outside of school I would do a little bit of digital art I didn't really do a lot of art because, as I said before, when you're in school doing art, you don't want to do it outside of class because you're burnt out and tired. <sighs> that was 2018. 2019, I still continued doing digital art. All my digital art is done in Photoshop. All of it. I love Photoshop. I have this mini miniature sketchbook. I do sketches in there. For most of 2019, most of my stuff is digital because it's easy when you're going back and forth to school. All you have to bring is my laptop and I don't have to lug around all of my art supplies. By the way, I have like every art supply, at least some of every art supply anybody could ever want. I got all the paints, all the markers, all the colored pencils a girl could ever want. I'll do art supplies video if you guys want it, but it's fine. I had to accept a portfolio to get into my concentration of the design stuff. So I made a couple of design stuff specifically for my portfolio. I didn't do a lot of art on the side in 2019 though. 2020 comes. I had to take this class, Digital Darkroom. The artsy part of that class is going to be photo composite, so I started doing those. Stuff like this. Most of my stuff in 2020 has been graphic design for school. I've done a couple of other drawings, just digital stuff. You can follow my Instagram to keep up with me and what I'm doing. It's a long process learning art. As I said, I've been doing this for six years, <laughs> which is crazy to say. Like, how old am I? I'm 20 years old. I've been doing this for six years, which is almost half of my life. I didn't take any classes. No art classes. That nobody taught me. I had to thank the Lord for my inner born talent. Yeah. All I can say to you guys is practice, pray, stay prayed up. Put that work in, it's gonna take time. Like, I tell my friends all the time that are getting the, into art. This is gonna take his time. Like, it took me, I think, three years to get to a good level of realism. But it's fun. If you're having fun, then it's fun, right? Like, like I said before, I didn't plan any of this. It just happened. But it's okay. <laughs> More videos to come. It's your girl, Jay. I'm signing out. I'm head out. Like that SpongeBob meme. I'm gonna head out. Goodbye.